So hi all, I have created a simple phase detection project with some things for tagging and everything. So, uh, this is the code um, and uh, it's a simple fast API application, not a flask. So let me just run it. Uh, then it started. So the server is started at 8,000. Here you can just simply upload an image. So let's first upload some images. So I will first upload uh, P1. Uh, okay, so as, as soon as I upload the image, it will save the image, take the image, detect faces on it, and mark it as unknown if it's an unknown face. And generally, like for the first time, if you even upload an image, then it will mark it as unknown. Uh, and uh, let's upload some more images. So I will go on PNG and it will find the box and mark it as unknown. And this is just happening real time, like not the faces are detecting after I upload the image. Let's upload one more. This is P4. Okay. And uh, one thing that you notice is that at this moment, I am just resizing every image to the 480 pixels width and uh, showing on that. I can just uh, use the uh, compression ratio or the resize ratio to show it on the original image. At this moment, I will just show you that. Now, the thing is that. Uh, the images are stored in a persistent database. So if I go to image equals to one or image equals to two, image equals to three, then it will show and you can try that. Uh, the images are uploaded in the database, which I can show you here. So uh, in the database, I have following tables, faces, photo faces, photos, tags, and users. So let's just see photos. Select the speed from photos. So we have uploaded four images. So there should be four rows. There are four rows. Now the photos are, if you remember the name of P1, P2, P3, P4, we are generating a unique ID for them and just uh, saving them locally on some path. The user ID is like this user has uploaded the image. At this moment, it is functioning as one, but we can later tag that okay because there are other so these are the photos. Now what we can do is we can we have the tags here, so it's unknown. So let me just uh, so to edit a tag, we just click on it. So let me just do Salman. Okay, then it will get updated. And once it is updated, it will be saved to the database also. To edit a tag, we just click on it and just update it. So I will mark it as Sultan and it will save that Sultan. Now, if I go to some other image, let's go to this image and let's mark it as four. And uh, let's go to the fourth image and mark it as Anushka. And now, as I said, everything is being persisted in the background. Uh, earlier, all were unknown. So let me now show you that. So I will show the correct tag. If you say the first five faces were from the first image, P1, we have five people, and we have four Sultan and Anushka. And if I just go to two, it will just pick the latest name from the database, and I will just put it here as uh, this. Okay. And if I just, just start pressing the enter, it will get saved. We will say the name has been updated to this function now. And if I just move four, it will go on the star. Then if I move one, these five pages are unknown. So they are still unknown. Two, it will again. Uh, good thing is that if I end my process again, like if I just click the process, shut down it, and then run it again. Um, let me just go to the host 1000. And if I do show images, let's do two. And it will pick the image, and it will pick the tag, and it will pick the face boxes. So all the faces are saved. So let me do faces. 
you see for each of the faces, for each of the photo ID, we have the face boxes and these are the encodings. So these encodings will be later used to recognize faces from the different photos. So at this moment, this doesn't support automatic face tagging, but it's manual face tagging. And we have the encoding for each of the faces. So we need to implement uh, recognition for from all the encodings. Um, and there is no batch option at this moment, but we can do batch also. But at this moment, if we just upload a photo, it will find the faces in that and show it. That's it. That's a simple project. Uh, the code is on the GitHub API backend DB. And we have used fast API. It's structured like uh, DB calls are in the DB, backend calls are in the backend, API calls are on the API. It's still not very much updated, but I have added comments and everything where I can. Uh, need some training, but yeah. Once we implement the recognition in it, then we can upload different images and it will uh, do the automatic face tagging. Uh, so use proper fast API stuff uh, and it works. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good day.